Hello learners, welcome to NIOS studio. Myself, Ruchi Dubey, Assistant Professor, Department of Education, University of Allahabad. And today, we will be discussing the topic, creativity, concept, nature and factors influencing creativity. First, we will be discuss about the concept of creativity. Creativity is a very common term used in the present scenario. You all must have come across with this terminology. For example, you must have heard that person X or person Y is very creative. But the question arises that what is creativity? Creativity is a unique and a precious quality of an individual that enables him to be innovative and to do things in a different manner. It is an ability to give novel responses and new answers. When we face a problem and give a solution which is beyond the usual stimulus response bond and not on the basis of the perceptual bond, then it is creativity. Creativity is a kind of thinking which depends on our power of imagination. So, it can be said that creativity is a phenomenon whereby something new and valuable is formed. The created item may be intangible such as an idea or a scientific theory, a musical composition or a joke or a physical object such as an invention, a literary work or a painting. Now, we will discuss some definitions about creativity. According to Torrance, creativity is a process of becoming sensitive to problems, deficiencies, gaps of knowledge, missing elements, disharmonies and so on. Identifying the difficulties, searching for solutions and making guesses or formulating hypotheses about deficiencies, testing and retesting hypotheses and finally communicating the result. According to Wilson, Guilford and Christensen, creative process is any process by which something new is produced, an idea or an object, including a new form or rearrangement of the old items. Khadena and Torrance define creativity as the power of imagination to break away from the perceptual set so as to restructure ideas, thoughts and feelings into novel and meaningful association points. Crow and Crow define creativity as a mental process to express original outcomes. Dehan and Havinghurst said that creativity is the quality which leads to the production of something new and desirable. So, can be said that creativity is a process of becoming sensitive towards problem, to think of discovering innovation, new and non-formal solutions of the problem and communicating the result. So, it can be said that creativity is the ability or the capacity of a person to discover and explore new areas to create or produce a new idea or a theory or an object including the rearrangement or reshaping of what already exists. Now we come to nature of creativity. Creativity has various qualities or characteristics which can be summarized as first thing is that creativity is an innate cognitive ability or a mental power. It is the ability to synthesize and create new ideas. It is the ability to create original things. Creativity is both a process as well as a product. It is actually a very complex, dynamic and a serious process. Creativity is a power of imagination. In it, new ideas, thoughts and feelings are restructured into new ones. It is a problem solving ability characterized by originality. Creativity is opposite to imitation. A creative person never imitates other. He always try to do new things or different things. And if a person is imitating others, then this is not at all creativity. Creativity is always goal oriented and creativity is universal and not bound by age, location or culture. 
it is not confined to any particular individual caste, creed or color. Creativity is of two types or it can be said that two types of creativity, verbal creativity and non-verbal creativity. Verbal creativity means expressing ideas or thoughts with the help of language like writing poems, stories, novels or singing. And non-verbal creativity means expressing ideas or thoughts in the form of painting, sculpture, dance, monologue, designing furniture, fashion designing, etc. Creativity is innate as well as acquired. That is, it is both God-gifted or a natural endowment and acquired or developed by experience, education and training. It is also influenced by cultural background. This means that if proper environment is provided to the student or a child, then his creative abilities can be developed. Creativity is adventurous and open in thinking. It is a departure from the rigid, stereotyped and closed thinking. It encourages complete freedom to accept and express responses and choices. Results of creativity must be acceptable in personal or social frame. Creativity, it can be constructive also or it can, it can be destructive also. This means that it is not necessary that the results of creativity will be beneficial for the society. But there are circumstances when the results of creativity are destructive or they are not desirable in the society. According to Guilford, creativity involves divergent thinking, that is, thinking in different directions. Uncreative thinking means convergent thinking, that is, thinking in the same direction. Here, divergent thinking represents creativity and convergent thinking represents intelligence. Convergent thinking involves aiming for a single correct solution to a problem, whereas divergent thinking involves creative generation of multiple answers to a set problem. It means that while a person is being creative, he does divergent thinking. He thinks in different direction. All the creative person thinks in different directions and all the intelligent persons think in same direction. So, in creativity, there is divergent thinking and in intelligence, there is convergent thinking. According to Freud, creativity originates due to conflict within the unconscious mind. Freud believed that creativity is a tension-reducing process. Creative childs tend to be more observant, fun-loving, determined, adaptable, curious, imaginative, original, explorative, novel, sensitive towards problem, adventurous, flexible in thinking, visionary, spontaneous in expression, willing to take risk, logical in thinking. He is not afraid of speaking something funny or crazy in front of others. And a creative child never adhere to the norms and traditions. They are diverse in thoughts, flexible in thought, perception and action. Creative child is always fluent in expression. He is independent in taking decisions. He is self-assertive, dominant and intuitive. They are always probing, discovering, imagining, asking questions, guessing and wondering. The creative individuals are usually right, right hemisphere dominant, while the rational thinkers are left hemisphere dominant. Now, people generally confuse intelligence with creativity, but actually these two terms are very much different. Creativity is different from intelligence. Creativity involves divergent thinking, while intelligence involves convergent thinking. Every intelligent person may not be creative, but mostly creative person possesses average intelligence. Intelligence and creativity go together up to a certain extent and after that they get separated. There are four aspects of creativity that is fluency, flexibility, originality and elaboration.
Now, we will be discussing these four aspects and details and these are the very important thing about creativity. The first aspect of creativity is fluency. Fluency is the ability to produce large number of ideas or to suggest many solutions of a problem. Flexibility means the ability to produce variety of ideas or to suggest responses of different variety or category. Originality is the ability to give unique, unpredictable, uncommon, novel response or idea. And elaboration means the ability to give detailed explanation or further explanation of ideas presented. Let's clarify the concept of creativity with the help of an example. Suppose a question is asked, what are the uses of thorn? And responses can be as follows. Somebody can say that uh, thorn can be used for pinching. Some can say that it can be used for carving on wax. It can be used as an acupressure device. Others can answer that it can be used as a pin or for making hole on paper, for decoration, for making hedge in the garden or it can also be used as a toothpick. These are the responses which different people can give in response to the question what about the uses of thorn. So here we got eight answers that is for pinching, for carving on wax, can be used in acupressure, can be used as a pin, for making a hole on the paper, for decoration, for making hedge in the garden and can be used as a toothpick. So here the fluency aspect of creativity is eight because here eight responses are given for a one question and all these answers we have supposed that all these answers had been given by one single person. So his fluency in creativity is eight. Secondly, now we will see the different response and the category. First response was for pinching that is it will come in the category of making hole. Second, for carving on wax, that means here thorn is being used for drawing. Thirdly, it, the answer was it can be used as an acupressure device, that is it is used for a medical purpose. Fourth was it can be used as a pin, that means it is used as a substitution. Fifth, for making hole on paper, that means again for making a hole. The first answer was for pinching and the fifth one is for making a hole and both of them comes in the same category of making hole. Sixth is for decoration and the seventh one was for making hedge in the garden that is it comes in the category of defense and the eighth was it can be used as a toothpick which again comes under the category of substitution. Answer number four in which the response was it can be used as a pin and the eighth one can be used as a toothpick both come under the category of substitution. So here we see that the eight responses which were given to the question about uses of thorn they fall under six categories for making whole, for drawing, for decoration, for medical, for substitution and for defense. So here the flexibility is six. Now. Next we come to originality. Here we see that the first response that is that thorn can be used for pinching purpose. Here the originality is zero because it is a very common response. Second for carving on wax again the originality is zero because it is a very common answer. But when a person says that it can be used in an acupressure as an acupressure device then here comes the originality because very few people can think in that way. Another thing was it can be used as a pin. Again, the originality is zero because it is a very common answer. For making hole on the paper again is a common answer. For decoration is again a common answer. For making hedge in the garden is again a common answer. But when it comes, it can be used as a toothpick. Here again originality come because very few people can respond in that way or they can think in that way. So here the originality is 7. Now we come to factors influencing creativity. 
Creativity is influenced by both heredity and environmental factors. Children are born creative, but it is the environment which develops their creative potential. If conducive environment is provided, then the creative abilities of the child will develop. And if proper environment is not provided, then the child who is born creative may gradually lose their creative potential. Various factors influence creativity, which we'll be discussing. For the first is age. Creativity rises rapidly to its highest peak in 30s and declines slowly afterwards. This means that creativity decreases with age. And what I just said has been proved by various researchers. The second factor that influences creativity is the personality of an individual. If a person is theoretical or value oriented, less social, self-disciplined, sensitive, determined, self-assertive, then his creative abilities develop. Another factor that influences creative ability is the freedom. Creativity develops only when a child has freedom of expression and conduct of work. If there is excessive freedom or very less freedom, then it creates hurdles in the development of creativity. Creative ideas comes out only when there is complete freedom. Experiences. Experiences are the key player in creative thinking. Experiences defines ideas and creativity. They influence creative thinking which is presented through work. The more one has experience, the more creative he can be. Another factor that influences creativity is fearlessness. It has a major impact on one's creativity. If a person is fearless in expression of his ideas, then creativity flows from within. But if a person has fear regarding his expression of ideas, or if he is worried about the success of an idea, he cannot be expressive in creative terms. Expert says that be fearless with your creativity and you will open more doors for new ideas. The next point that influences creativity is the desire. It is a very vital factor that affects creativity. Growing into a creative individual depends on the desire to be creative or to do something different and new. And unless and until a person has the desire to be creative, he can never do so. Another thing is knowledge. Creativity depends upon significant knowledge an individual already possesses. Higher the knowledge, higher will be the creativity of an individual. The next factor that influences creativity is the anxiety. Creative abilities of an individual is affected by his anxiety. Anxiety must be within manageable limits for encouraging creativity within the child. Pressure. Pressure of work also influences creative performance, but it affects adversely. If there is excessive workload pressure, then it hampers creative expression. Pressure may increase productivity, but it has a negative influence on creativity. If there is pressure of time and work, then creativity decreases because it takes time to achieve something truly original and creativity. Next factor is family environment of a child greatly influence his creative aspect. Too much love, fear or hatred never promotes creativity. Conducive and stimulating family environment must be provided to the children in order to develop their creative potentials. In order to develop creative abilities, parents must make children sensitive towards the problem. They must motivate children to use ideas and objects in different ways. They must present problem before the children and ask them their solutions. Another factor which influences creativity is the school environment. School environment foster creativity among children. If the school environment is conducive and stimulating, then it will help the children in nourishing and utilizing their creative abilities. Schools 
providing atmosphere for creative expression stimulates creativity of students and this has been proved by various researchers also like Rogers 1961 said that psychological freedom and psychological security in the school environment are the two elements important for creativity psychological freedom means freedom available to the child for expression and for bringing changes in ideas concepts and meaning and psychological security means to present ideas without the fear of evaluation so here we can conclude that according to rogers psychological freedom and psychological security is essential for development of creativity teachers being a part of the school environment plays a very important role in the development of creativity of the children butler and others 1980 opine that in order to develop creativity the teacher must understand the creative process they must motivate the students dosh 1969 said that the classroom environment must be free from stress and fear if there is stress and fear then students adopt defensive or protective responses and his tendency of accepting new ideas decreases excessive stress leads to traditional thinking and the child becomes unable to think about the problem in a new aspect one another point that is included in the school environment is the curriculum the curriculum also influences creativity the learning environment provided by the curriculum fosters creativity among children creativity among children is also affected by the teaching methodology used by the teacher in the teaching learning process teachers using traditional lecture method of teaching or giving excessive homework make students passive listeners which create hurdles in the development of creative potentials teachers using brainstorming and cinetic methods of teaching positively influence development of creativity among children another factor that influence creativity is the social environment of the child a positive social environment that is an environment that is open democratic and free contribute positively in the development of creative potential on the other hand a closed society or a culture may act as a strong deterrent in the development of creativity norms group cohesiveness size role task etc of the group to which a person belongs influence his creative potential another factor is intelligence intelligence is a necessary but not a sufficient condition for creativity as i already told you that intelligence and creativity go together up to a certain extent and then they get separated this means that there is a moderate positive relationship between creativity and intelligence another factor is cultural background of the child creativity is also influenced by the cultural background of the child if the cultural background tradition belief is conducive then it will nurture creativity we also studied about creativity and intelligence actually creativity and intelligence both are different things creativity involves divergent thinking and intelligence involves convergent thinking another important point of creativity which we studied today was that it has four aspects fluency flexibility originality and elaboration we also studied about factors influencing creativity like family environment school environment social environment personality age intelligence experiences knowledge discipline cultural background available resources etc hope you have understood the concept of creativity and you will also try to be more creative while you are teaching and learning thank you